Second last row, that's it. Second last, that's it. Keep going. Final row now. She's done it. <laughs> right for their first run. Anyway, Space Jam, spot on. The movie released in 1996. An excellent start for Glendale. Nice work there, Laura. I like that sort of style up there. That, top. that worked well. Mark, you reckon you can sort of do the same thing? Yeah. Let's give it a go. Back to the game board for the next one. History and the four possibilities. Soviet collection, red and union. Four possibilities there. Here is the question. Good luck. Before the fall of communism, Russia was better known by what two-word name, Mark? What two-word name is it? Let's go uh, and have a look at the path to follow it to the top. In two, in one, and go, Mark! Really happening, haven't they? Fancy little sets. That's it. That's it. And the crowd goes wild. And Mark goes, yee Got it right. Soviet Union. Communism, uh, before the fall of com communism, Russia was better known by that two-word name. We'll go back to the game board for the next category. Here it is. Who said the second last? Kieran Perkins. Greg Norman. Atlanta and Melbourne. Who said category? Here's the question. Who said last year, if I can win here, I can win anywhere. And where was it said? Okay, Laura, here's the path to follow up to the top. She's about to take off in three, two, one, and go, Laura. Back to the third last row. Second last now. Try the left-hand side. That's it. She's made it. Who said if I can win here? Yes, it was. I can win anywhere. She's won on that one. 15 points. Kara Perkins was the guy, and Atlanta was the place. Excellent stuff. Final category for you here, Mark, and it's back to the game board. Dancing. And the four options to pick from. Hula, Dula, Flamenco, and Flamingo. Okay, here is the question, Mark. Which of these is a dance associated with Hawaii and which is a dance associated with Spain? Hawaii and Spain here, here's the path to follow up to the top. What's it gonna be? In one and go up. That was awesome. Good on you, Mark. Some great times in there, man. And some correct answers as well. Hula, the dance associated with Hawaii. And Flamenco, the dance associated with Spain. Guess what, you guys? I've, I have some excellent news. I love it when we, when we report this. Four out of four, right? 60 points for you. Nice stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the fastest uh, player to the top today, too, with correct answers, will receive this prize. Go, Jace. Thanks very much, TJ. The quickest speedster up the scramble board gets you this wicked waterproof watch from Loris. Want to be a time master time after time like Tone? Be a ledge. Get a life. Get a Loris. Thank you, Jason. Uh, it was a very fast time today. One of the quickest we've had in a wee little while, actually. Five seconds flat. 5.0. And it goes to Mark from Glendale. <laughs> Just, uh, yes, just show us that little dance again. Hey, Jace, what's happening with the scores, mate? Boy Air Primary School is looking good on 15 time, but Glendale Primary School have had the lead on 70 points. Oh, they're doing extremely well. Extremely well. So far, so good. However, when we come back after the break, we're going to be doing some slam dunking with Boy Air. We'll see you really soon. What do you do when the kids are always on the phone? All very simple. The tool man's installing a second line. Uh-oh. And it's communication breakdown. Take up the lost art of letter writing. Tonight, 7 o'clock on 7's Home Improvement. Miss Hyde surprise, what magical party. Wow. hiding inside. It's Katie's ice cream party. At Miss Party Surprise Ice Cream Party, there's so much for you to do. Great party. Miss Party Surprise, you can collect them all, each sold separately. That's fantastic. For a 
Turtle, Psyduck. New Pokemon are here. Can you catch them all? Pokemon Master. Set sold separately. Electronic Psyduck needs and batteries not included from Hasbro. What will you be doing on January 26th? Nationwide, let's get together to celebrate Australia Day. Phone the Australia Day Council on this number for events in your area. And let's make Australia Day 2000 a day to remember. An absolutely incredible audience that we have had in this week. Let's, let's just take a look at the supporters from Boyer and Glendale. Been doing an amazing job. Go for it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> do you, Keith and Hayley, do you find that that sort of um, helps you out when you're, you know, when you're playing the games? Yeah. yeah. To know that the school yeah. is right behind you? Yeah. And just think, as well as that audience that we have here in the studio, there are millions of people right across Australia who are watching this as well. Keith, that makes you feel okay, doesn't it? Yeah. Dad's a trackie, isn't he? Yeah. Is he away from home a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Where would he be right now, do you think? Um... In town somewhere. In town somewhere. You want to say hello to your dad? Oh, he probably wouldn't have a telly in his truck, really, would he, Keith? Nah. No. Now, Keith, you're, uh, you're into a sport. Which sport is that? Basketball. Basketball. You've got a favourite basketball player that you like to follow? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. What do you like so much about Michael Jordan? I mean, he's always popular with, with all the kids we have coming on the show. Oh, just how he dunks yeah. from foul line in the comps Incredible, and stuff. Incredible, isn't it? You're going to be yeah. doing some of that with Slam Dunk? No. <laughs> we'll do our best, though, won't we, Keith? Yeah. Good on you. And how are the cats, Sky? Not bad. They're not bad? Sorry, Hayley, I called you Chloe then. Um, how, they're all right? Yeah. Because Chloe's one of the cats, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I nearly got it mixed up. Chloe, and what's the other, the name of the other cat? Mouse. Mouse. So does uh, Chloe chase Mouse? No, Mouse chases no. Chloe. Really? Isn't it? Isn't it supposed to be the other way around? No. No? Okay, well, thank you for sharing that with us and for all of our players for appearing on the show today. Jason's got some goodies for them to take home. Go, Jason. TJ, all of our players take home two pocketbooks, little things and space things, the A to Z of English and the little Oxford Dictionary, all from Oxford Press. Also, a new Yoho Diablo. This cool new game is better than any yo-yo. The Yoho Diablo of leading toy stores now. Then it's a new Magic Logic board game. It takes minutes to learn and years to master. Take a Magic Logic challenge, plus a Webster's World Encyclopedia on CD-ROM. This edition has 150 video clips, plus a bonus internet tutorial and a free adventure game. Thanks to Webster's, it's way cool. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> hey, Lee, um, sorry about calling you Chloe before. He's a really generous guy, that Jason, isn't he? Yeah. You're going to enjoy some of that stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about you, Keith? Yeah. You'll be able to take him home and muck around, and you're going to be able to muck around right now with uh, Slam Dunk as well. If you shoot five hoops correctly, as you know, with uh, Slam Dunk, something really cool happens. You get to dunk the opposition into the water tank, and up there at the moment for Glendale is Chris. How are you, Chris? <laughs> Why do our potential dunking victims always look so happy? I don't know. Well, uh, anything you'd like to say to Chris up there, Keith? Good luck. Good luck. Let's find out very soon. We'll go to the game board right now and check out your category. Here it is. True colours, guys. And the six possibilities at number one, silver. Number two is green. Number three is black. Number four is white. Number five is golden. And number six is brown. We'll turn around once again. True colours is the category. Turn around, Keith. Uh, six possibilities up there and only five questions. Hopefully making your job just that little bit easier. If you get all five right, a bonus 25 points to be added onto your team score and 75 seconds to play the game. And all you've got to do is put this ball through the hoop that corresponds with the correct answer. Keith, that is yours. We wish you the best of luck. Let's shoot some hoops and your time starts now. First question. What colour flag is used as a signal of surrender? Away you go, down to the feet. What colour flag is used as a signal of surrender? What's it going to be? Another ball there, Hayley. Another ball. That's it. Get it down there. White is spot on. Wait for the question. A well-known fable is that of the goose that laid what coloured eggs? Hayley, away you go, down to the key. We've got the first one. We've got top 10 points on that one so far. 10 points with the first question. Question number two right now. Golden is correct. Question three here, Keith. A popular saying is that every cloud has a what coloured lining? Keith, away you go, down to the key. Third question. Every cloud has a what coloured lining? Silver spot on, three out of three. What coloured cats, you should know this, Hayley, are associated with bad luck? Hayley, down to the key. What coloured cats are associated with bad luck? They've got three possibilities remaining. They've got 25 seconds on the clock. She's going for number three. Is it going to be green, black, or is it going to be brown? It's black. Correct. Final question here. People are sometimes said to be what colour with envy? What colour with envy? What's it going to be? We've got 13 seconds remaining. Out of play. Keep going. Hoop number three is already out of play. Green is it. Seven seconds remaining. <laughs> 
Hey, nice game, nice work there, you guys. Come in. We got uh, five out of five right, giving you 50 points. As I mentioned at the start of the segment, a bonus 25. Big points for you, and you get to dunk the opposition into the water tank. Come on down, and we'll pay Chris a visit. Yee-hee! Um, <laughs> Chris, you might want to hold on to that. That might help you float. We've got Hayley in here, Keith in here. Hayley said good luck before. Keith, have you got anything that you'd like to say to Chris before he gets dunked? G goodbye. Goodbye. Good luck and goodbye. Let's do it in five, four, three, two, one. See you, Chris. Chris going down. <laughs> <laughs> and a big splash too. Hey, Chris, come on in, mate. You're lucky you've got short hair. It'll dry off pretty quickly, won't it? Yep. Yeah, how was it? Sweet. Sweet, really good. So what, you had a drink whilst you were in there too, did you? No. <laughs> Sweet water, and what we're going to do is we're going to check in with Jason to see what's happening with the scores. Go, Jason. TJ Glendale Primary School is looking good on 70 points, and Boyer Primary School has a lead on 90 points. Oh. Hey, big points for you there in the lead. Just a little bit at this stage. We're going to go to a break, and we'll come back after that for more Time Masters. Pit stop, see you shortly. Air hugs, hydro rockets, blast up. Just pump it up. The more you pump, the higher they go. Once you've locked in your coordinates, fire. Real performance, real wet. Air hugs, hydro rockets, new from Midmaster. Maximum action all day long. Bob sleds, racing cars, speed boats, and the rock. A full day of family fun, thrills, and excitement. Cushy Coos. Cushy Hair Friends. Now they're sweet scent Cushy Coos. You smell like baby shampoo. Minty toothpaste. Smell that coconut. They're getting a tan. Sweet scent Cushy Coos. You'll love the way they smell. What's new Cushy Coos? Cushy Coos. The Cushy Coos Soapy Time Playset. Your top really works. The water is just right. Let's dry you off. Cushy have to go potty. I'm so proud of you. The Cushy Coos Soapy Time Playset. From Cush. Welcome back to Time Masters, our final segment coming up. The guys are going to be racing, Keith is going to be racing, Mark is going to be racing, but we're not going to get into it just yet. Now, we've done some quick calculations. If Boyer win pit stop, there will be a five-point gap in the game so far this week. So it's very, very close indeed. Before we get to that, however, we need to talk about the major prize that one of our schools will be taking home tomorrow. Thanks, Tone. Later this week, one school will win this excellent close-up package from Tasco. It's got microscope, the telescope, and two pairs of binoculars. All these precision instruments have been designed to withstand daily use in the classroom or lab. For all your close-up work, only trust Tasco. Thank you, Jason. One of them will be taking it home tomorrow. Now it's time for Pit Stop. You know how it works. Mark is going to be racing with Keith. The World Rally 2 cars, the first driver across the finish line will win. They'll pick up that 50 points for their team. So good luck. Start your engines, drivers, and go! <laughs> They don't want Boyer to pick up those 50 points, as I mentioned at the start of the segment, which will only create a five-point gap in the game so far this week. Boyer wanted it, though, and Keith is now in the lead. He wants that 50 points. He wants to make it a nice, close game tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. If you're hanging around, you're not going to wait for the weekend, make sure you tune in, because it's going to be a great game tomorrow. Glendale and Boyer, both very competitive schools. But are also good sports people too. They've had a, a great sort of sporting spirit this week between them. Very competitive though. It's been a, a up and down all week for you. Got off to the, to the good start at the start of the week. Linda came back on Tuesday, Wednesday, and now today. Look at this. It looks like it's going to be Boyer and Keith. The red team. It is. Yes, it is Boyer. <laughs> They've done it. Jump out. <laughs> Jump out, 
it goes. Come on over. We'll award some points here. They have done it. Come on around, Keith and Haley. They've all got those little dances that they get going, don't they, when they win the uh, when they win the games. Our runners up, firstly, 25 points going to Glendale, to Mark and Laura. Congratulations. And our winners of pit stop today on the World Rally Two Cars, going of course to the red team. Boy, yeah, 50 points. Very, very nice week. <laughs> Haley's got the moves are happening. Now, let's check in with Jason to see what's happening with the scores. Go, Jason. A peak of the daily scores have Glendale on 95 points and Boyer 130 points. 140, that is. And we add up the weekly scores. Glendale, 455 points. Boyer, 465. <laughs> Excellent. Boyer have got the lead by five points. There is only five points in the game, which is absolutely incredible. Been up and down all week, and tomorrow the big day. That is going to determine which school is going to win Time Masters for this week. That's about all we have time for today. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah. Great. It's been a really good show. Thanks for joining us at home. We'll see you again tomorrow. Day five. Bye, everyone. Thanks to Australia's Wonderland, Sydney's very best theme park for that totally awesome central week play on. Tony chooses to be seen in Young Disciples clothing, the leading brand from leading stores right around Oz. When the audience get mad, bad and rad, they munch on craft tickets and cool down with very fruit juice. Oh, beautiful. And now it's time for Wipeout. Miss Time Masters, sorry, maybe another day. Thanks to Southern Star Concept and Channel 7. From the creators of The Simpsons, Seven brings you Futurama tonight.